Hi everybody and welcome back to As the Rooster Crows. Today I'm going to be dehydrating milk. I went and I bought a bunch of uh, raw milk from a local dairy here and I've skimmed off all of the cream and I've made butter. So now I'm going to dehydrate this milk and, so that we can use it later. Dehydrated milk will last 25 to 30 years if you package it correctly. So we and we will. We'll use an oxygen absorber and we'll make sure it's good and dry in there. So let me show you the process. I've already done one batch just to see how well it would turn out. And it came out really good. So let's get started. So under ideal conditions, I would pre-freeze this milk out in a freezer. But since I don't have that option, I'm going to go ahead and let this freeze in the, in the freeze dryer. To do that, I'm just going to pull the tray out a tiny bit. While I'm pouring, I'm going to look in the back back there and see how high it's getting because I don't want it to run over. All right. I think we might be able to... No, I'm not going to chance it. I'll be able to show you how far in this, how far up it goes in the back. This tray, that well, the whole machine leans to the back. making a mess on the floor. That's as far as I'm going to pour. Slide that back. Pull this one out just a little bit. That's enough for that one. So I have two more trays to go. Let me go get more milk. Okay, so by the time I got it all in here, I got about almost two gallons of milk. You'll you'll be surprised at how how far it uh, shrinks down. So let's get this thing started. It's going to take a while. I'm just going to take a wet rag and clean this off real quick so the milk doesn't stick to everything. All right. Close the door. All right, so we're just going to press start. And it says wait 15 minutes before loading trays, which I already loaded the trays. So all it's going to do is cool down. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. So we will close the drain. The drain is just that little thing right there. The drain hose. Alright, now we're just going to press continue. Now it's going to freeze the milk. Not sure how good you can see that, but that's the milk in the trays. And there's five trays total. It's melting. We're supposed to have a snowstorm Tuesday. We are 29 hours in, and you can see 
the um, the milk flaking. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. You can also see the ice on the drum. It's a pretty neat process. All right, it's ready. And I am going to go for no defrost. telling me to keep the drain valve open and the pump is going to run for five minutes. This is what it looks like. It's light and fluffy. I normally take one of these. Break it up before it goes in the bags. Just fill these bags. They're, these are seven mil bags. Let me get all the bags filled. I was in such a hurry, I forgot to do this part, or to show you this part. But then you take one of these oxygen absorbers, and you pluck it in the bag that I filled with the milk. And then after that, you're going to take this little gadget, and you're going to hold it down there's a light on the end over here until it goes off and then it's completely sealed and this will be good for 25 to 30 years so I got five bags out of two times of doing the milk and I if I didn't tell you I went and got raw milk and I skimmed the cream off of the top and I did butter and I did some milk for Joe pasteurized it and the rest of it I'm doing just freeze drying the rest of the milk so when I got five bags off of two times that's not bad that's probably about I don't know five gallons I should measure it next time but this is a whole new learning experience for me. If you have one, I'm sure you're, you're miles ahead of me. I haven't even started doing meat yet. I'm not comfortable with that yet. But I do hope to do that in the future. So, tell me what you guys think about this. Um, I'm loving it so far. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to share, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Thank you. Get down, kitty.